find the partial derivative with respect to x and with respect to y solution. So we'll start off maybe by rewriting this function to get rid of this square root. So you can write this as the natural log of x squared plus y squared to the 1 half. Then what you can do is you can put the 1 half in the front, okay, using the power rule for logs. So g of xy equals 1 half ln and then x squared plus y squared. Let me go over that again. So basically the square root of x is the same thing as x to the 1 half. So we use that to go from here to here. And then this is the power rule for logs. It says whenever you have an exponent here, you can actually just put it in the front. Okay, so now we're going to take the partials with respect to x and with respect to y. Recall that the derivative of ln x is 1 over x, right? So if you just have, you know, a calc 1 derivative, just a pure regular derivative, it's 1 over x. So here, taking the partial with respect to x, so g sub x, the 1 half hangs out, and it's 1 over whatever's inside that log, so x squared plus y squared, times the derivative of this inside function here. Now, we're taking the partial with respect to x, so the derivative of x squared is just 2x, but we're treating everything else as constant because it's a partial derivative. So the derivative of y squared is actually just 0, so we don't write it. The 2's cancel, and so we get x over x squared plus y squared. So that's the partial with respect to x. Let's do the partial with respect to y now. So same thing, the 1 half hangs out. That's 1 over x squared plus y squared times the derivative of the inside. So this time the derivative of x squared is 0 because we're treating all of the x's as constants. So the derivative of x squared is 0 and the derivative of y squared is 2y. The 2's cancel. So we get y over x squared plus y squared. That's the partial derivative of g with respect to y. I hope that made sense.